probably a month late with this. International Women's Day was, what, first, second week of March, and I'm uploading this in April. I'm, I don't really think about these things. Hello. I've not uploaded a video in a while, and that's because it takes a lot of time to put together the big pieces that I do on our garage wall, and it's time that I just don't have at the minute our little lad is on the move constantly. Takes a bit more looking after than he did when he was uh, a little baby that, that couldn't move and slept most of the day. It means there's less time for me to mess about with spray paint cans in, in our garage. So apologies in advance, but this is another video, very much like the last video, where I'm just talking to you about something I've already done and I'm gonna intersperse it with some old footage, some old photographs, and because I wasn't planning on doing a video when I did this project, I'm also probably gonna use a lot of filler and stock footage and maybe even some irrelevant parts of the story just to, to make this video a bit more interesting. So what is this video about? This video is about the time I made a really, really big mosaic of Manchester's very own Emmeline Pankhurst and sailed is the wrong word because it's not a sailing boat, presented it, let's just say, and presented it on a canal boat on the waterways of Manchester and Salford. It was for a work project. It was to celebrate International Women's Day. For those of you who don't know, Emmeline Pankhurst was a suffragette. It was instrumental in getting women the vote just over 100 years ago. And she was from Moss Side in Manchester. And she's very, very well known and loved in this part of the world and indeed all over the world. And I thought, who better to celebrate on International Women's Day. I believe it was International Women's Day. Let me just do some maths. It would have been International Women's Day 2019. So this was just over three years ago because we've just had International Women's Day, I believe. So I was working for an electrical engineering company at the time. We were going through a change in some of the brochures and collaterals and we had a lot that we were just going to get rid of. They, were, they had irrelevant information, irrelevant branding, and you know they were destined for the dustbin. So what I thought was, you know, let's, let's try and do a bit of recycling. Let's try and not waste all this stuff. And I thought International Women's Day was an opportunity to do that. So with my inclination towards doing silly art stuff, I thought, why don't we take these brochures, rip them up and make a mosaic of Emmeline Pankhurst. And that's what I did. So my wife was really happy because I basically commandeered her conservatory for, I don't know, two months while I made this giant mosaic out of hundreds of brochures, cutting them up, categorizing them into different shades. I made it black and white just to make it easier for myself. But also, and this is a company I definitely will shout out, I'm sure, you know, they'll be happy to be advertised in front of the 24 people that are going to see this video. So I got in touch with a company that I've known for years and years and years, a family run business that I have been a patron of for decades, City Centre Cruises. They're a company here in Manchester who do what they say on the tin. They do cruises in the city centre on a number of canal boats. They do lunch tours, they'll, they'll do tours of the waterway, tours of Salford Keys, Manchester Bridgewater Canal, things like that. And you know, nice and peaceful, there's, as I say, there's a restaurant on it, nice and peaceful movement along the waterway serve you food there's a bar on there as well and the reason that I've been a patron of them for so long is that they do the trip from Manchester City Centre to Old Trafford to the Manchester United home matches so whenever I go to Old Trafford which is often because I've got a season ticket I go on the City Centre Cruises boat and the name of the boat and why they are significant to this video the newest and biggest boat is Emmeline Pankhurst the other one's named after L.S. Lowry, but this one's named after Emmeline Pankhurst. So I got in touch with them and I said, look, I'm making this mosaic of Emmeline Pankhurst. Are you interested in getting involved? I would like to put it on your boat and just drive it around the waterways of Manchester, see if we can get anyone to uh, notice it. Got the ITV and BBC studios in Salford Keys. I thought, you know, if I drop them a line and then circle the boat with the mosaic outside the studios, someone might see it, might get a bit of exposure. Didn't happen in the end. Cheers BBC and ITV. But it was a bit of fun. And thanks again for City Centre Cruises for getting involved in that and involved in my stupid idea. And also, another people I want to I want to shout out for this video my friends Aaron and Andrew I don't think they're still operated at the minute they may do in the future I don't know but they they had a, a company called Alpine Creative and they did some really good videos for local businesses and stuff they got involved filmed the whole thing I'm going to use some of the really good professionally shot footage to spruce up this video a bit Hope they won't mind. Yeah, I'll give them a shout out in the description. But like I say, I'm not sure that the business is operating anymore. I actually know Aaron from playing American football with him. He still plays it. He's a lot younger, very good at the sport. 
played it for one season, sat on the bench most of the time. But that's Owen O'Aaron and his friend Andrew. As I say, really good videographers. They capture the whole thing. The footage I use in this video, or most of it, is going to be from the video that they put together. So, yeah, I don't really know what else there is to say about it other than for me to do a bit of commentary over the stuff that you're about to see. So, here we go. Here's the creation of the Emmeline Pankhurst two meter tall mosaic made out of electrical engineering brochures. I did start shooting a time lapse, did a few angles of it, moved the camera a couple of times. You know, you could tell I thought that I was going to do a video of it at some point. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it doesn't really lend itself to being an interesting video, but yeah, look, I, there was obviously a big period of time between this clip and that clip. <clears throat> There's some random stages at which I decided to take photographs and, and film footage of, of this. That's why you, you're getting me chatting rubbish over it um, rather than it being just a, a full satisfying video of this being put together. So, as I say, we took it out, we showcased it in Manchester and then no one really paid any attention. But So I'm here on the... Emmeline Pankhurst boat. We've just got through Pomona Lock, and we're about to. So yeah, we're uh, we're here to celebrate Manchester as well. Um... So from what you can see here, um, you can see the mosaic being propped up at the front of the boat, and what's not obvious is the way that it's being propped up is not by any sort of clever purpose-built mechanism, or pulley system. It is me stood behind it, holding it. Now, it was a windy day. It was March. Wind March, northwest of England, cold. So my fingers were absolutely freezing as I'm holding this giant board that is trying its best to fly away into the water due to the wind while stood on a boat. So I am currently behind this mosaic. Uh, there we are. My hands are freezing. And here is me, posing very proudly with the Emmeline Pankhurst mosaic made out of brochures. I think there's a particular amount of pride on my face here because this is after we'd done the presentation of the mosaic on the boat. So I'm proud and relieved because we got away with it and nothing went in the water. The mosaic didn't go in the water and I didn't go in the water. So it was a win-win. Yeah, as I say, it was a lot of fun. And I could not tell you where that mosaic is now. I didn't throw it away. I no longer work for that company. And I think when I left, it was still in a cupboard downstairs, taking up a lot of room. So if anyone from a company is watching and you know that it's been since disposed of, I don't mind. Uh, I don't really know what else could have been done with it. It was, like a lot of the things I produce, quite disposable. So we gave the brochures a little bit of a lease of life and then disposed of them anyway. So, you know, I'm not exactly Greta Thunberg in terms of the environmental angle to what I do. You know, I never thought I'd be doing an International Women's Day thing in Salford Keys, but I did. So, girl power. It was a lot of fun. But, yeah, now there's a video about it on my YouTube channel. So that's my video on the Emmeline Pankhurst mosaic that I made. Probably... A month late with this, International Women's Day was, what, first, second week of March, and I'm uploading this in April. I'm, I don't really think about these things. Yeah, tell me what you think. Like, share, and subscribe, and all that. I don't know why you'd share this. Please like it. Please subscribe. I am planning on doing some, some actual, original, new pieces of art. I need to clear out the garage first. I need to find time, more importantly, to get in there and, and get spray painting. But there are, I have got a few ideas. Hopefully, we'll get them done over the next couple of months. So stay tuned. And yeah, I appreciate that people uh, subscribe to me. Not that many, but you know, enough to feel like I, I should I should still keep putting videos out. So I'm gonna keep putting videos out. I've got a few more of these stories that I wanna tell, but more importantly, I've got a few projects be released over the next, next few months, really. So yeah, thank you. And thanks for watching this and listen to me rabbit on. Yeah, cheers. Thank you.